Hey everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. Got a real nice one to bring you today. 2003 Chevy Express High Top Explorer Conversion Van. Uh, this car, or truck I should say, uh, some of you may know this has been my uh, daily driver for the last few months. I bought this truck from a good family friend of mine, uh, an older couple who bought this truck to travel up to Maine back and forth in comfort. Uh, they didn't have any kids riding in the back. Their kids have all been grown up. They have had conversion vans before. Uh, this was the last one they bought. And uh, when they bought this car, the, uh, this truck, their kids were all grown. And they just used this to travel up to Maine and back. This is a pretty unique piece. Um, it's an eight door, meaning there's, there's two sides of barn doors, one on each side. And then it's also all wheel drive. Uh, Explorer converted these. Um, back in the day and they still do it today and they offered them as an all-wheel drive package uh, this thing is a beast in the snow it really is I've driven it a few times in the snow it drives great in the snow so I've had this truck for a few months now I've put about 8,000 miles on it uh, actually I think the exact number is 7,995 miles I bought this to transport my family down to Disney and to take on a few other shorter trips and somehow I ended up racking 8,000 miles on it when I really wasn't expecting to do that. Um, but I've had my fun with it. We don't need another family hauler until the, uh, the next year. So it's time to find this one a new loving home. Uh, one of the benefits to this truck when I bought it, it being owned by a uh, older couple who didn't have kids is the back of this van. All the seats in the back are in beautiful shape. This van wasn't owned by a family that trashed the hell out of it. Because normally, normally these things are pretty beat. Uh, especially when it gets up there in mileage. This one's got 125,000 miles. And it's in uh, phenomenal shape. Shows a little bit of wear and tear here and there. I'll point all that out. Um, you know, but overall the truck's in really great shape. I'll get up close and personal. Show you a few things. I've done some maintenance to this truck in those 8,000 miles. Biggest thing I did is I put a new set of wheels and tires on it. Obviously, you see the GM cap there. These are 20 inch wheels off of a GMC uh, Denali. It had, I think, 15 or 16 inch, probably 16 inch wheels on it. The tires were all worn out. So I got these wheels. They're brand new takeoffs. So these wheels, I put these on, I believe, about 5,000 miles ago. So they have about 5,000 miles on them. Uh, you can see a little bit of cosmetic marks and some light cracking on some of the lower cladding. But it's all there. A couple light little abrasions. You can see here a small scratch in the door. The other thing is some of the decals are just starting to chip. You know. But overall shows well. The paint's in nice shape on it. Top of the bumper cap. This is custom painted. A lot of this stuff was done by the coach builder. Shows a little bit of fading. This is pretty cool. This is a step here that folds back up. You can step on this and stand on this to service under the hood, uh, which is kind of neat. It's got a black billet grill. Uh, this, I, I've had it, like I said, for 8,000 miles. You can see a little bit of condensation just starting in that headlight. It never did that before. Um, I did just clean under the hood and that's when it, it happened. So if it is leaking, I'll get another headlight unit for that. Uh, because that's never done that before You can see here those beautiful 20 inch GMC wheels if The GMC cap kind of bothers you you can swap them out for Chevy caps um, You know, but it really didn't bother me You can see here a little bit more just like cracking from bumping in this stuff. I assume, you know, I don't know if that's uh, a little bit of wear here Otherwise just light scratches and stuff like that and all the body's in nice shape. This is a high top Explorer conversion van. The high top definitely is a nice feature. I've had both. Um, I actually still own a low top or a regular conversion van. I'm letting my sister borrow. Uh, it's The high top is phenomenal for traveling. Gives you all that extra uh, space inside. A Little bit of damage here. I think this panel was painted at one point. The crack in the bottom of the tail light. It never affected it because this is a reflector area. The tail lights up here never bothered me again, so I never went and fixed it. 
Um, you know, but aside from those few things on the outside, it's in, it's in really nice shape. It does have a trailer hitch. I've never towed with it. It doesn't look like it's towed much. You can see in the middle of the, uh, the rear bumper there, it's got a uh, backup camera as well. All the privacy glass, it's got all the, the shades in the back too, which is kind of cool for those long trips. You pull the shades or if you're going camping or something like that, uh, it's pretty nice. But you can see here how nice these 20s are. Not even a curb mark on them. The tires are brand new, good years. Uh, one thing, when I did put these wheels on, they did rub a little bit on the inside here. Uh, most of that's gone now. It's, it's, I trimmed it back and, and it, it doesn't really rub much anymore. Every now and again, it'll rub just a little bit, you know, but aside from that, uh, there's the, the wheel upgrade was definitely, uh, a night and day package. You know, it's a night and day difference. I should say from what it was makes it look that much better. Explorer is a pretty well-known conversion company, uh, in the, uh, the conversion world. You can see here there's just a couple little stone chips and stuff like that up on the top there apparently i forgot to wash it because it looks like there's some dirt up there I forget if i mentioned already this van's got 125,000 miles on it uh 5.3 liter vortec uh smooth shifting transmission we took this thing down to Florida. We put over 3,000 miles on it down there, and it was flawless. I'm going to open it up, show you the inside, and show you some of the cool features that this Explorer conversion van has. And then I'll show you under the hood and take you for a quick All drive. All right, going to show you the inside of this cool Explorer conversion van. You can see already, just by the door panel here, a lot of extras added, the wood trimmings, stuff like that. The, uh, the speakers, all this wood here is all done by the conversion company. They wrap the top of the uh, door panels with, with vinyl. Just give it a real nice, luxurious feel. The carpet, it's like a thick pile carpet, something almost you'd see inside your house, which is kind of cool. Gives it a nice, warm you know feel as well. Uh, power driver's seat, forward and back, up and down, the recliner. The driver's seat and the passenger seat show the most amount of wear. Uh, those were the only seats that were used. A little bit of wear on the uh, this armrest here. It's just starting to crack. But, you know, there's no splits or anything like that. And the, the seat's still very comfortable. The back seats are beautiful. There's no wear and tear anywhere on those seats. Uh, even the wheel is in nice shape. Shows a little bit of wear right on the inside here where you probably held your, your hand on the wheel. Headlights, cruise control, wipers. Shows there 125,000 miles. One thing that it does do on and off, you can see here, I'll let that focus, the um, the fuel gauge and the uh, battery gauge down there. Sometimes the backlighting uh, flickers on and off with that. I think the bulbs are, are maybe just starting to get a little weak. But you can see here all the wood trim that they put around the inside on the dash. It does have a uh, touchscreen uh, radio DVD uh, Bluetooth uh, connected navigation backup cam all in one. It does have a trailer towing uh, feature, and that's the control for the rear heat and uh, AC. Gonna open up this barn door here. Show you how nice this van is in the back. These doors open up nice and wide. You get the running board here to step up, step up, and then right up in with the kids. Plenty of space here. This this is unbelievable. The amount of legroom you have, and these seats do go forward. You can uh, pull up right up here. These pull forward uh, for easy entry. Those come down, and then you can tilt just like that. And you can see how how plush and how clean this van is in the back here. It's really amazing how well this was kept. Um, but from lack of use is really how the, the van was preserved. Um, you know, not, not having any kids back here with Cheerios and candy melting in the cup holders. All this stuff is in really nice shape. Got an ashtray just in case, in case the kids like to smoke. All these blinds, all in great shape. None of them are broken or damaged. They all go up and down perfectly fine. Really cool feature. 
Again, something else that gets trashed when you get all the kids in the back here. Um, and you can see the high top and how much space it gives you. You can actually almost stand up in the back of this van. It's got all this beautiful lighting. I'm gonna climb up in here and show you. Inside all these cabinets here are all lighted. It does have a VCR on this side, obviously outdated, a flat screen TV. And then inside that cabinet, I'll show you on the other side, it has a DVD player. You can see here how nice the interior is. It has a center cooler that is removable if you want. It comes right out and it's just a flat floor with the carpeting underneath. The cooler doesn't drain. Uh, it's not like a self-draining cooler, uh, but it does hold your beverages nice and cold. We use that going down to Florida. That was kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna open up the back door, show you the back and I'll get around the other side and uh, we'll show you. We'll show you the, the back other side. here. These doors open up and they swing open nice and wide uh, for easy you know, loading of cargo or, or all your camping gear. It does have a cool door pocket on this side. These blinds as well, again, all in perfect, perfect condition. Uh, I did point out earlier, it does have that rear backup camera. This inside here is a uh, auxiliary fuse box for all the rear conversion stuff. This is an air inlet for the rear uh, heating and air conditioning. You can see here all the original floor mats from the coach builder. All, what, three rows, I believe. Inside here, you got your jack storage. Kind of marked up a little bit on the back here, uh, scratched up and stuff like that. Right here, usually you see a, a vacuum mounted there, but that uh, wasn't with the van when I bought it. I don't know if it broke, you know, on the people that owned it and they just took it out. That's kind of a cool thing, that storage compartment. The really cool thing with this, and most of you may already know this, these rear uh, power folding uh, seats, the sofa folds right down. Uh, that those fold backwards into a uh, bed so you can camp back here. Really cool. Power folds right from the button here. Up and down with ease. You don't have to worry about uh, trying to struggle with opening and closing this thing. One button does it all. And again, you can see here how nice and luxurious this is with all the backlighting, the lighting behind the shades. Really cool. My daughter absolutely loved this van. I know she's gonna miss it. She called it uh, my bus, but she couldn't pronounce the word bus. She's only two. Uh, so she'd call it daddy's bush. Almost like B-U-S-H. Not bush, but bush. Uh, cutest thing in the world hearing her say it, but daddy's bus has got to uh, find a new home. This side opens up just as wide as the other side. Again, you can see my famous uh, carpet extractor lines here. Some people give me a little bit of flash for that, but I love how nice and crisp and clean it looks. You can see here in the jam. Uh, cool thing that the uh, converter does is they put these aluminum plates on top of these sills, which are usually plastic and they're plastic underneath. But this gives it a lot more durability for getting in and out. Again, you have the running board here, door pockets for storage, all your blinds open and closed on both doors, cup holder as well. Uh, so that seat you can see on the other side is all the way forward. You can see how much leg space you do still have. This one's all the way back. So it goes forward a few inches, which is nice. It's a nice feature. If you have someone in the back that needs a little bit more room, uh, both seats, and these are removable. These two captain's chairs, you can see right underneath here, these levers here pull and they flip right out. So if you wanted to remove these, you could do that. Uh, you know, if you have to put some some heavy cargo in here, but you can see here how nice the leather is back here Really well kept because it was never used. We'll fold this one forward here and I'll show you this back bench. They call this the sofa It's got some um, Headphone jacks here. It does have a rear CD player. I never used that stuff uh, We did use the rear DVD when we went down to Florida um, the TV and everything work great and the TV comes over these two speakers here and the two in the back uh, So those those two are uh, four I should say are for the TV system and then these ones here this one and this one Those are for the radio. So 
two, two uh, for the TV system, works great. And then these ones here are also for the radio you see on the floor here. Uh, that button over there is also power fold for the seat in the back here, which is kind of neat. You can do it from the front or the back. Show you again the carpet, how nice and clean it is. Uh, even though they didn't have kids riding in the back here, they had the, uh, those big floor mats that I showed you earlier. And with those, they had floor mats on top of that. So they really did try to protect this van. They did a great job at it. Um, I was so happy to be able to buy this van from them. I rode it in a few times years ago, um, and it was a pleasure ride. And uh, <laughs> who would have known all these years later, I would have bought it for my family. Uh, open up the passenger side here. Uh, another very comfortable seat. These seats are so comfortable for cruising. We took it down the highway. It was just a pleasure to drive. Obviously overstuffed, very supple. Even the uh, the armrest, you can see here how nicely uh, stuffed those are. You got two cup holders here. This guy pops out. You get the cooler in there. A little bit of storage here. Some side pouches, you put Kleenex or whatever. You got two cup or three cup holders. Tons of storage here. Uh, one thing that is broken here, uh, this guy here, this is uh, all the owner's manuals and stuff, but the hinge on the bottom is broken. I don't know if you can find one at a junkyard. All the time I had it, uh, obviously it's not gonna do it now. I just had a latch like that and I never had a problem with it. Um, the dash has even got some little storage compartments here. And then up in the center here, these are all the controls for the rear lights and stuff, the indirect lights, the ceiling lights, cabinet lights, and then the rear radio you can turn on and off. Uh, inside the back cabinets up on the roof here, I do have um, the headphones. Uh, so those are included with the truck. Uh, they're wired. I don't know if this truck can be converted to wireless, not 100% sure, um, but it might be a possibility. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick pause, I'll open up the hood. I'll bring you inside the cabin and we'll take it for a spin. Inside the van, I'm going to start it up and I'm going to show you under the hood and I'm going to get the key to cycle here. You can see here, lights up. And like I said before, some of these lights on the um, the fuel gauge and then the, uh, the uh, gauge down here for the battery. Sometimes if you give a little tap, they come on. It was never a bother to me. It starts right up. Uh, 8,000 miles is what I put on it. It's got 125,167 now. You dial the trip here. That's the amount of miles I put on the van. 7,998 miles. So just about 8,000 miles on this van. Uh, it's got the radio here. Lights up. Sounds great. Great sound system. Like I said, it's also got a backup camera wire to that. And then all the controls here for the rear lights in the uh in the ceiling which is neat so let me open up the hood real quick and i'm going to show you what it looks like under the hood i want to take it for a spin down the road it's a very very comfortable van obviously a big heavy van so you do feel it on the road um you know but cruising down the highway with people in it it handles it perfectly it's got a newer battery in it um, i'm going to go over some of the maintenance things i did to it but while i'm under here it reminds me it does have a newer battery I did put a brand new alternator in it before we went down to um, to Disney. Uh, those are the few things that I did just before we left. Uh, a few other things that I did do uh, in my 8,000 miles of, of owning this van. I put front pads and rotors on it. I replaced, obviously, the wheels and tires. Those have like about 5,000 miles on them. I'll turn the radio down here. Let's see. Anyways, if you want to have that fixed, I think there's companies out there that rebuild that. Again, it doesn't really bother me, so I never really addressed it. Um, but I was just saying a few other things that I did do to it, other than the alternator and stuff. Um, I had the torsion bar cross mount and bushings replaced. Uh, I did four shocks, front and rear, all the way around. The front pads and rotors. Um, what else did I do? Tires, wheels. I might be forgetting something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I might be having a brain fight here. But um, all in all, super reliable, super dependable. As far as fuel economy, I have absolutely no idea. So if anybody's going to ask what it gets, I don't know. I didn't pay attention. It wasn't horrible. I always drive big V8, you know, hulking SUVs and stuff like that. So it's definitely no worse than those. 
you know, especially on the highway. Around town, it's probably a little rough, um, you know, but it's obviously, given the size of vehicle you're driving, uh, it's to be expected. Uh, another cool thing, I have two sets of keys with this van. I also have uh, two remotes. It has an aftermarket remote starter, works phenomenally. Great for the winter months, warm it up. So much space in here to warm up. It's definitely nice to have it warm before you get into it. Um, I also have, like I said, the headphones for the rear um, TV and stuff like that. If you want to listen to them on headphones or you can listen to them over those speakers like I mentioned. Uh, and then I also have all the remotes. I have the remote for the radio here. And then I have the remotes for the TV and DVD in the back. Um, so... The, the truck is, is really well kept, well maintained. I have all the books and stuff in the uh, the glove compartment there. Uh, this, this truck is gonna make someone a great family vehicle, a great travel vehicle. Uh, these vehicles are still being built today. It's the same coach builder, and if you look at them, they really didn't change much. The Chevy Express van themselves haven't changed since 2003. This is the first year of this body style. And even today, 2020, they still look exactly the same. Uh, so you'll uh, you'll blend right in with the new ones, uh, but at a fraction of the price. This van's going to get offered ten thousand nine ninety five uh, for the van. It's a two thousand three Express Explorer Limited SE conversion van. Uh, you can drive it anywhere if you want to fly in and drive it home. You're more than welcome to do that. I can provide you with a twenty day plate. <clears throat> I would have no hesitation driving this van anywhere just because I've put so many personal miles on it myself. Uh, I am going to be sad to see it go, but it's time for it to find a new home. If you like what you see, if you see some of my old videos, definitely hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner. Uh, I definitely like uh, seeing your reaction. If you give me a like or if even you give me a comment. If you remember these back in the day, a lot of families had these big vans, these custom conversion vans. Tell me about some of your memories that you had where you went with these things. And uh, what do you think about them today? You don't see them much on the road, but they are a very cool van to have. My name is Anthony. Thanks for tuning in. 978-930-1004 is my cell. We'll talk to you soon.